Have you ever had a teacher tell you, be sure you back up a claim with evidence and reasoning? If you have, your teacher wants you to demonstrate logos or logic. You see, when you write an argumentative essay that includes a thesis statement, and that thesis is followed by body paragraphs that each argue for that thesis, you are thinking logically. There is a method to your thinking, a pattern, a bringing together of information that aligns and makes sense. For example, in Barack Obama's 2015 State of the Union address, Obama appeals to his audience's sense of logic by supporting his claims with evidence. But tonight, we turn the page. Tonight, after a breakthrough year for America, our economy is growing and creating jobs at the fastest pace since 1999. Our unemployment rate is now lower than it was before the financial crisis. More of our kids are graduating than ever before. More of our people are insured than ever before. And we are as free from the grip of foreign oil as we've been in almost 30 years. Now Obama's information here could be wrong, dramatized, or biased. But the structure of his ideas, that the economy is growing, unemployment is low, kids are graduating, people are insured, and the U.S. is not as dependent on foreign oil as before, all provide evidence that aligns with Obama's claim that America had a breakthrough year and continues to do well. Effective forms of logos include statistics and facts, if-then statements, inductive and deductive reasoning, comparisons and analogies, counterclaims and rebuttals, and more. It is important to point out that logos is rarely used in isolation, but often integrated with ethos and pathos. For example, a strong counterargument paragraph demonstrates that a person is fair since they are humble enough to hear out and understand opposing viewpoints, and this is an appeal to ethos. However, counterarguments also demonstrate a logical thinker who can juggle conflicting ideas. In this paragraph, the writer admits that people are being logical when they say that smoking on campus is not illegal and should be permitted. It is a valid argument. However, this argument fails to address the problem of secondhand smoke. For the writer, this is where his opponent's argument weakens. Since the writer is acting both fair and logically, this writer is appealing to both ethos and logos. Now that you know more about logos or the appeal to logic, here is your task. Explain whether or not the following sentences uses logos effectively. Good luck.